Hi students, this is Karen Morrow from Hay Steam Academy. Today we're going to be talking about symmetry and seeing how objects on a picture are balanced. So symmetry and asymmetry are different types of balance. Uh, this one right here, this circle is balanced from side to side because it's identical. It's like a mirror image from one side to the other. This line that goes down the middle is what we call a line of symmetry. So if we folded that circle on that line, they would match up from side to side. On this shape right here, here's the line of symmetry. If you folded it together and put it right beside each other, it would match up perfectly. The same thing with the rectangle, the triangle, the heart, and the square. These are all lines of symmetry. Now let's take a look at symmetrical objects first or examples this heart right here here's our line of symmetry the butterfly on the square it could have several lines of symmetry so if you folded it on any of these lines the shapes and the color would all match up perfectly like a mirror image this one right here is symmetrical from one side to the other or from one corner to the other this one, if you had the line of symmetry, it would go right down the center. So that if you folded this side over to that one, it would be a perfect match. Here's another balanced picture. This, the right side is the same as the left side. And then here's a fun photo of a bridge where they doubled the image and made this side exactly like this side. So it also shows balance with symmetry. These examples are examples of asymmetry. The pictures are balanced, but they're different from side to side. So if you look at this picture right here with the circles and all the little squares, there's a lot going on in the whole picture, but it's asymmetrical because it's not exactly a mirror image from one side to the other. It's not identical. This one right here is close to being the same, but if you look closely, the eyes are different, the colors are different, the lines are different, so it is balanced, but since it's a little bit different, it's called asymmetry or asymmetrical. Here's a paper collage. If you divided it down the middle, it would be similar, but it's not identical, so it's asymmetrical. And the same thing with the fish. Very balanced in color, but asymmetrical. So this is the project that we're going to be making today with crayons and paper. If you can see, this side is a mirror image of this side. So this is a symmetrical art project. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start off with a white piece of paper. And we're going to color one side just like the other side, like a mirror image. So if I wanted to, I could come in here and put one color right in the center. And I would color it in. So I chose blue. Make that a little more in the middle. And I could change colors. And this is kind of a pink. And if I make this like a mirror image from one side to the other, I need to add the same pink on the other side. So that if I were to fold them, they would match up perfectly. I'm going to change colors. Trying to make a lot of bright colors so they will really be bold with my black paper on top. Turn that around. Put the same green on this side. You could make stripes. You could make just different areas that match. You can fix, fill it in however you would like. So if I continue, I'll fill up the whole page. Here's an example of one that I have finished. 
So notice how this side is a mirror image to this side. So if I were to fold it in half like this, it would match up perfectly. Okay, moving on to the black part. This is where I'm going to do some folding. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my black paper over like a what I call a taco. So I'm going to press that down. And there I have my one fold, which is like a taco. Now I'm going to take my folded side right here and flip this over one more fold. So we're only going to fold it two times. And I'm going to crease that down and start cutting. Now I kind of want to leave my outside edge, this open edge, attached. So I don't want to cut that off. If you do cut it off, it still is a good design. Everybody's will be a little bit different. But I'm going to take these folded sides and I'm just going to start cutting in kind of like when you cut snowflakes. But I'm just going to cut some shapes that I like that I want to come out. And I lay those to the side. Make sure those fall out. You don't want to leave them attached. And just keep cutting. I'm going to cut a few that are a little deeper. Make sure every time you cut space, shapes, they fall out. I'll lay those over there. Now I'm going to start cutting on this side that's folded. Make sure I don't go all the way too far and cut everything off. Keep cutting shapes. If you'd like to draw them first with a pencil, feel free. And just a few more cuts. Drop that out. And I have a little bit of space left right here. All right, I think I've cut most of it out. So remember, I cut on the sides that were folded. I'm going to open it up gently and lay it out on my crayon picture. I'm going to flip it over and lay it on here. And notice how this side is an identical reflection of this side. So they match up. And I would suggest using liquid glue, but you could use um, glue stick if you prefer. So I come in here and I put lots of little, just small dots all over. making sure that I touch base with most of the edges. I'm going to be very careful. Lay it right down on top. Try to match up the edges. Press it down. And I've got my symmetrical, balanced design. Everybody's design will be a little bit different. Be creative and have fun.